Hello there, I'm Jess from Blooming Crafty and today we're going to be demonstrating our Valentine's Christmas wreath or Christmas um, wreath kit. Um, so while we're waiting for a few viewers, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of background about our business. We are based in Lincolnshire, um, near Sleaford, so uh, um, yes, please feel free to comment where you're from, so it'd be lovely to hear from you. Thank you, thank you ever so much for um, inviting me to the Virtual Village Hall. So we're based in Lincolnshire, we are a floristry and a willow basket making um, business. We do classes and we also do commissions. Um, so we've really had to adapt through lockdown, hence um, the kits. So unfortunately we can't teach um, one to one. So we've been doing a um, video tutorial uh, with some boxes that we've recently developed. Um, so this is one that we've recently done. Um, it's British flower boxes, um, so we've done a really unique 100% British flower tutorial. Um, so you get everything in this video, um, or everything in this vase, and you get a video to be able to watch it. With Beach, I think some of these flowers are actually from With Beach. So they're in a 40 mile radius of here, and um, we have some things from Cornwall as well. We've got Clacton, hello! Hello, hi Katie, thank you for joining us. Um, so, shall we get going? So feel free to ask me questions, I'm going to try and keep up with answering you as we're going. Um, and then, let's crack on, because we've got quite a lot to do. So, our kits, this is the second kit, so you can have, um, the first kit is just a wreath uh, base, so it'll be in a heart shape. We use British Willow in here. Um, so should, should we have a look? Let's have a nosy. So we have crammed it absolutely brimming full of materials. Um, so this is our standard kit. If you have any preferences when you order colour preferences, um, we can... Um, hello, we've got Scotland, Dorset people from all over. So these can be posted all over the country. This is what your kit um, looks like when you get it. And um, you get um, a mixture of flowers. So we've selected things to go on your wreath that will last, um, so we kind of call them forever wreaths. And um, you can have them in your home and they will last for ages. I've got one that I did last year, it's actually just behind the camera, and it's all dried out. So we have selected things that should behave. When you open your box, you'll initially notice a fabulous scent. Another person from Dorset as well, Manchester. So these are wax flower, um, they smell delicious, they're kind of a really herby, herby flavour. They come in an array of different colours, we've got these gorgeous little white ones and then when we've chosen something not traditionally red for Valentine's, we've gone a little bit more pinky and romantic this year because we know that not everyone does red. They also come in lilac so if you wanted a different colour then you can feel free to re request something. So let's get those out, there we go. I'm just gonna pop them to one side. So on receipt of your box, if you empty it out, if you don't want to do it that day, you're best to put your flowers and your fresh materials into a vase until you're ready to work with it. Or you can keep it cool. So if you just wanna stick it in the garage or in your car, and providing that we haven't got a frost, that's absolutely fine. So then we've got um, a beautiful eucalyptus. I love this one because it's beautiful for doing kind of dainty work with. It's called a parvifolia and it's from Cornwall. So again, you can either pop that um, in some water or again, keep it cool. It will last absolutely fine. Um, so we've selected this because it'll dry out. So it might fade ever so slightly, but it will last in your home for ages and you'll get a wonderful scent from that. And then, this one isn't a British one. I did cheat with this one. Um, so we've got little Crespidia, look at those. They're just delightful. So these will last for ages as well. So I just thought we'll add a little bit of spring into that Valentine's mix. So there they are. Okay, so kit one, you just get the basics to make a plain willow wreath. So this is what you get. 
you'll be able to make a plain heart, which we're going to do first. And then if you want to decorate it, you'll have to buy kit two. I'm also going to make this accessible to everyone. So if you've got a garden at home that you can go out, you can go on your walk, you can select things that hopefully you'll be able to make a wreath base with. So you can get really creative with this. If you don't want to do fresh flowers, I'm also going to give you ideas on using like paper crafts, um, needle felting, which I think there's a needle felting class if I'm right at 2.30 today. So your needle felting flowers look amazing on here. We have collaborated with another needle felter before. We've done sort of a morning workshop and then an afternoon workshop. So this is absolutely ideal. And you also get, so this is kit two, you get your moss in there and your binding wire. But we're going to come to that later on. So any questions before I crack on? Let's just make a little bit more room. So feel free to ask questions. So when you get your willow, we have basically tied it in a massive knot. It's fresh willow um, all the way from Somerset. So we have a fabulous supplier down there called Musgrave Willow Growers. You'll have to carefully unravel your willow because it might just unravel everywhere and you don't want to get hurt by it. So very carefully unravel your willow and then you're just going to try and Straighten it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's a, it doesn't matter. We're gonna add some sort of kinks and bends to it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So you're gonna grab that. And then last but not least, we've got a ribbon. You can put that to one side. That's the very last thing we need. And then lastly, we've got a little bit of wire. So we use an Oasis wire. This is it in a big um, band. Everything that you see is also available individually on our website. Um, so we give you just enough wire to make one heart. It's coated in paper. So we put this workshop together so it's ideal for kids. So you can go out foraging with the kids. If you haven't got this available, you can use um, wool, you can use yarn, string, anything. You can get as creative as uh, you can or like with this. And um, we've chosen this A because it's soft on the hands and B sometimes yarn slips so you might have to double if not triple triple knot yarn. But I'm gonna pop the box to one side. So if you're working on your own, you're going to grab your longest piece of wire first and then you will have 13 rods in here. Pop one of them to one side. We've given you a spare, okay? So I'm just going to check my numbers. You should have 12 that you're working with. 6, 8, 10, 12. I'll just grab two more because I can't count when I was setting this up this morning. So we've got, this is fresh willow. It will be absolutely fine to do this over the course of, I would say about three weeks. Okay, keep it outside and keep it cool. If you bring it in your home, it will start to dry out and then you'll have the problem of having to soak it. So ordinarily, as basket makers, we season the willow. So we'll use last year's crop and then we'll soak it. I do it in a big galvanized trough outside and then we use it. Um, so it's basically a day per foot, so we're using I think about a five or a four foot variety, so it's in between that because I'm five foot. Um, so it's called Blackmore, which is probably the most common um, variety of willow. Um, so if you've got a basket, to avoid any confusion, this afternoon's class, oh I'm sorry, it's not needle felting, it's Pilates this afternoon. And there is a past needle felting class to watch, sorry. That's my bad. Okay, so we've got black mole here. You've got your 12 rods. And we're going to start with the butt ends. So the butt ends is where you've cut the willow off from the tree. It's going to be your thickest ends. So what you need to do is make sure that they're all level. And then you're going to use your longest piece of wire. If you roughly find the middle of the wire, it doesn't have to be exact. You're going to bind the wire around the ends of the willow twice as tightly as you possibly can. So I show you that a little bit closer. I've just bound around about an inch to two inches up from the base of the willow. The Virtual Village has just shared the website. So if you do want to purchase this, and um, we're doing next day delivery. So unfortunately next day will be on Friday. You'll be able to get this. If you order it today, we'll get it to you for Friday. So all I'm doing is I'm twisting 
the wire now around itself so that it's secure. You want these willow rods to be really snug in there. You don't want any wiggling around. So if you're using yarn at home um, and you've collected something from outside in your garden, then make sure it's really tight, tightly bound. So this is ideal for kids. Um, we've made sure that it's accessible for people if you've got any arthritic problems. Um, summer basketry can be very, very hard work on the hands. So we made sure that this project is suitable for all levels and abilities. So if you haven't got willow and you want to go and get your own materials, the best thing to do is to have a look around your garden and to see what there is out there. So you're looking for long pieces, okay? Possibly up to three foot, if not longer. So you could use ivy, you could use any twigs or branches. And uh, we've got a silver birch tree that's quite pliable. You could use um, dogwood, brambles if you take the, um, neat, the thorns off with a knife. You can use anything, either, the best thing to have a look at is to bend it and to see if it cracks. You want a really pliable material. Sorry, I'm just reading questions as I'm going. Your willow was just from down the road from me. Um, if you get a chance, I know we can't in lockdown, but if anyone's ever down in Somerset or when you were on your way to Cornwall, you can drop in when we're out of lockdown and you can visit, um, there's the lady that runs it, it's called Ellen Musgrove, so it's called Musgrove Willow Growers, and they will give you a tour so you get to understand the growing processes, um, the harvesting, the cutting, the storing, and um, what are the things they make from it, they make the most beautiful um, coffins down there. It's such an inspiring material once you get started and um, there's a wealth of things that you can make hazel so you could try hazel um, but you have to use some fresh thin pieces um, from that again just check that it's pliable bamboo usually will break it's too kind of stiff um, so that's not an ideal one Ivy, if you go on a walk, ivy's everywhere, that's fantastic. And then you've got the foliage on it as well, so you might not necessarily have to do too much decorating. So right, let's keep asking questions, I'm trying to answer them. If I don't manage to answer everything, I'm gonna go back and comment later on. So about six inches up, we're gonna work towards the tips of the rods. So from six, in six inches up from your first tie, you're going to do your second tie in exactly the same manner. It doesn't have to be exactly six inches, it can be about five. If you're doing a small heart, so if you haven't got as much material, the, the sort of the five foot length, then you could do a really dinky little heart. So it'd be lovely to see some of your mates if you want to share with me. Weeping Willow works, yes. The only thing with Weeping Willow is it goes black, um, but it's, it'll stay green for a while and then it'll turn black. Which is, again, it could be, you know, it's a beautiful colour once it is black. This will change. It will go a, a slightly lighter brown. I'm sorry I haven't got any to show you. So, yes, it's it. we, we class this as kind of like a brown willow. So I've twisted that round twice again. And then I've used my nails to pinch in and to twist the wire. Okay, so this is the fun bit. So if you've got kids and you want to do this with kids, um, this is the fun bit. So above... This second tie only, so we're working towards the tips, the thin ends of the willow, you're going to break up the fibres on your knee. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, you can pop a towel on your knee if you've got um, tights on, or you can do it on your thigh. So that's another option. And I'm just going to show you, so excuse my knee. Whoop. So I'm going to put my knee up here just to show you the process. So you're going to pull the willow over your knee and we're looking to create a really soft U shape. So I'm rubbing it backwards and forwards, so just above that first tie and it's about a foot up from the first tie. So we're rubbing it backwards and forwards, pulling it towards me. So you want to do that possibly three or four times and you're looking to create a gentle curve like that so once you've done one side you can turn it over and then you're going to do the other so we're bending it back on ourselves it'll make sense as to why we're doing this so for those of you that have tuned in late uh, we're blooming crafty we're based in Lincolnshire and we're demonstrating how to make a willow heart from one of our kits
and um, but you can also use it from forage you can also create it from foraged goods in your garden or on your walk okay so you're aiming for something like that so to be able to make a soft u shape once you've done that the easiest way to do the next bit is to sit down and to put this section between your knees so if you're on your own that's the best way to do this the other way, which I'm not going to sit down because I didn't want to move the camera today, is you can ask someone to help you. So we're going to split the rods. So you've got your 12 rods. You're going to split them into two. And then we're going to twist. So you're going to very gently twist them together. And we're kind of creating, I'm not over forcing it, I'm ever so gently twisting the wires, the rods together. It is a little bit tricky on your own. And you're twisting the two foot that you have broken up on your knee, okay, no more. So, something like that. We don't want to make this massive. They, they look a little bit kind of gappy if they're too big. I tend to think if they're about just under 30 centimetres finished height uh, from top to bottom, they have an overall better, a better look. So if you're doing this on your own, I would tie this. You've got this excess twine at the bottom. This is why we use the middle of the twine. And you can tie this round twice and then twist it. If you're doing this with someone else, you can twist the other side of your heart, hold it down the bottom, and then you can bind the two together, okay? Or you can try and hold it between your knees if you sat down. So I'm going to, I'm going to tie mine so that we don't have any accidents on live, on Facebook Live. How is everyone doing? How are you coping with lockdown? This is just, it's such a fantastic resource. Thank you for all the love. So yeah, it's a fantastic resource this, isn't it? Um, I'm so grateful to be able to be a, a small part of it. So right, so when you make your second side of the heart, can you see? It, just make sure it's even. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at this point. And then you can lie it down and hopefully you've still got enough excess at the bottom to wrap it all round. What wire are you using? So we're using, it's Oasis Wire. I love all of their products. Um, they, it, it's just a fail safe product. You pay a little bit more, but it tends to um, be a really good quality product. It's basically coated in paper. So you can use plain wire if you want it at home. We do a lot of these um, classes with kids. So this is why we use the paper and it's just a little bit softer on the hands. So you can use twine if you're at home, anything that you've got available, have a go. Brown string, oh, I've lost my sticker, look. Let's pop that over there. Brown string, yarn, anything that you can get your hands on. It is, it's really therapeutic. It's, um, once you get going with it, I think it's because that's what I love about it, is that it comes from the ground. It's so sustainably growing. Um, right, so once we've got our heart, you can just give it a little tweak. So you've, there's still wiggle room to pull these up and down. So you can just make sure that you're happy with the sides of your heart. Okay, so once I am, we're then going to use these tips and we're going to kink them up. So all I do at the back here is I use my nail to kink the tips up and I'm going to wrap them round the sides of the heart. So you can either wrap them the same way as your willow goes, or you can alternate it so you get this more rustic look. So I'm going to do um, a really kind of rustic, I'm going a little bit more eastery than Valentine's for some reason. I think we all need a bit of colour in our lives, don't we, at the moment? A bit of cheer. So, um, so yeah, it, it's a really um, therapeutic material to work with. Um, and it's so addictive. Once you get started, um, you just kind of want to get do more. One of my friends has just done some training and um, she's done little hurdle fences and she just wants to grow her own now. It's fantastic. 
So I'm twisting these round. So the willow that this side is going round this side of the heart and I'm doing them, I'm crisscrossing them, I'm doing them all which ways. Um, I'm not doing it evenly, but you could try and do it. The, the, we, the photo that the Virtual Really Tall shared of our kit, that we'd um, waving it round all the same way, so you get this kind of rope finish. Maxine had her own forest school and used to make these at Christmas with the students and the adult groups. It was very therapeutic and everyone's, it, yes, everyone's is always just different. I'm always amazed at how different um, all the materials sort of come together in the end. And I, I, as much as I try and get you to create the product that um, I'm sort of teaching, I really like people to find their own way um, and to find their own style. So please feel free to add a little bit of your own personality to your hearts. Um, it could be lovely to see everyone's individual if you choose to do a Valentine's heart or you choose to do a bit more springy. So I've done that side, it's looking very kind of Eastery, not Valentine's. So for those that have tuned in late, we're doing a Valentine's heart. We're demonstrating our kits. And we're gonna show you how to decorate it. We've made it as accessible as possible. So there's just something so wonderful about making um, and crafting and there's so much that you can gain from it. It's, uh, yeah, if I'm feeling a bit down, then I go straight out into the garage and uh, do a bit of crafting. And I think it's distraction, isn't it? How do you secure the ends of the branches once you've wound them round? And um, so all I'm doing is lifting up a little bit. If I bring it closer, can you see? I'm just lifting up and then I'm going to push through my end. So I'm going to tuck it in. So if you don't wind it overly too tight, then you can secure those ends in place. Thank you for asking, because I forgot to say that bit. I used Russian vines. Yes, vines work, any kind of vine will work. Sorry, the questions are coming in so quickly that I'm not having a chance to read them. Okay, so, I have woven around the edges of my heart. Let's, let's just get everyone to catch up because we had quite a few viewers before and I don't want you to miss out on what we're doing. Someone wants to be in my video. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, I'm sorry. Happens to me all the time. So we got cut off for some reason, so I'm sorry about that. Literally no idea, my phone just decided to completely go off Facebook. Um, so we do, we've done loads of lives and that's never happened. So it's typical when I do a live for someone else, isn't it? Right, so back to the heart. I've, I've gone round and I've tucked all my ends in. So you can see these little bits are sticking out. So you can carefully go in. The only tool you really need is some secateurs or some scissors. And again, we use Oasis Secretaries, we've got these on the website. Um, I give these a hammering with the work that I do and I really recommend them. Um, so I'm just going to go in and give the little tips a little trim off to have a tidy up. You can also trim off any excess wire. Let's just take these down a little bit and then you can see. Can you all see okay? Just let me know that you can see enough of what I'm working on or I can give the camera a little tweak if needs be. Right, so I've cut all my tips off and then I'm gonna cut off any excess twine that I've got. You might want to save that for something else. We've given you plenty. So you're gonna end up with something along these lines. The last thing that I tend to do is cut the ends, so these butt ends, to a point. Now it's quite tough to do, so if you can't do that and you haven't got a good pair of secateurs, then you you can leave these as they are. Or I tend to just do a V shape, so I cut an angle this way, 
um, and an angle the other way. So we've just got the, the point of the heart coming down into a nice V. Thank you for joining me again. So that's one cut. If I show you, I've done a straight line this way and then I will do a straight line the other way. So now onto the super exciting bit, the decorating. So tell me if we've got any crafters out there, tell me what you're into, what kind of crafts that you do. So we briefly touched on um, needle felting. Um, so you can do your little decorations, needle felting, paper crafts, anything. And you can use a glue gun. That's the best way to apply this. The other thing that we've done, um, which is really nice to do with kids, um, is to go out and to forage so you can get nuts. You can get seed heads, there's all sorts. And again, just applying them with a, a um, glue gun, that's all you really need to do for something like this. Um, so yes, that's one option. So I'll just cover the things that we've got in the box again. You've got your binding wire. This is what I'm going to be decorating with. And then in my little box over here, I've got some different things. So we've got our Parvifolia eucalyptus. Beautiful scent. Can you see that? I've got my Cuspidia, so these will dry. And then I've got my wax flower. We've got a pink and a white variety. So that's what comes in the box. Oh, and moss. Ooh, I'll show you that in a minute. So other options. So I just quickly went around my garden. You can do this on a walk. And um, it could use my wool from knitting. Yes, pom-poms. You could make pom-poms. Great idea. What else is people suggesting? So, from my garden, I've got, um, we've got loads of ivy growing. Our garden's quite overgrown. We've only just moved in. So we've got tons um, of overgrown foliage and twiggy bits. Twiggy bits are great. I'm gonna show you some of those. So you could use this on its own. And a bit like we were tucking the ends in early, you can tuck your ivy ends that you forage around the garden and then you can twist it around the edge. And then again, you can tuck this end in. This is just a few options. Ivy's one option. As I said earlier, we've got a beautiful silver birch tree and you can do the same. So you can tuck the, the ends in into one little position and then you can wrap it around, twisting. So that's really all you need to do. You don't need to add masses onto this. It's, it can be quite simple. Paper crafting, yeah, paper crafting is amazing. It's a, a nice one for kids. You can buy like little punches that are really easy for them all ages to do so they can punch out. I had a flower a punch. You can buy double-sided sticky dots so that they haven't got to deal with the glue gun. And then they can just pop them on. I also get sort of diamantes and sequins so they can add those to the middle. Ribbons and um, that kind of thing. They can color their own flowers in if they wanted. And you can buy flowers probably online. Um, if you don't want to kind of craft your own. I live next to the beach. Tons of shells, yes, shells. So the one that we um, posted the video of, um, well, the Virtual Village Tool Shed, it was actually used for a wedding and we added driftwood on. So shells are great. The only thing with shells is sometimes they, they kind of crack because this, they're two brittle materials that you're sticking together. So what I tend to do, and again, I'm gonna do that today, is if you moss it first, then you've got something to stick to. Uh, how you said something about kit box. Can you give me more information? Yeah, so this is the kit. So this is kit one. You get a plain um, heart. It's three pounds um, for the kit. And then I think it's five pound posters. You can do um, click and collect if you're local. We're in Lincolnshire or we can post it out. So it'll be five day um, delivery now. Um, or I think I've just completely forgotten prices, but if you want all the materials that we've got in front of us, including your flowers and what I'm about to demonstrate with, I think it's £11, but I might have quoted that wrong. I'm pretty sure it's £11. We can tweak colours as well. So if you'd rather do a different colour scheme, then just message me after you've done your order and we can change the colours. Um, you can also send this to your friends if you wanted to add um, a message that we can do that as well. Or you can forage. So if you go back to the beginning of this video, we've got details on foraging around your garden, foraging on a walk, and um, thank you. Yes, do let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with, decorating-wise. The virtual villagers just shared our kits. 
um, for you. Looks like you have lots of talent, thank you. Right, let's get on with the decorating. So I've got some Pussy Willow here. So again, that's something either you could add. I don't know if, if you've got any of that growing around you, but you can bind that round. You have to be very careful that the little catkins don't fall off. And then this is something that I think is overlooked. Um, but I use it so much um, in my kind of spring Valentine's wreaths. So we've got some beautiful lichen in our, um, so all these little bits in our garden. Um, so you can just add those on with a glue gun. How pretty are those? Amongst a couple of little flowers or something. Um, the Virtual Village really Hall keeps sharing our kit for you on the website it's eight pounds the kit so it's even cheaper than i said so all of this with flowers is eight pounds stephanie's a really good friend of mine bless her thank you for sharing that stephanie that'll teach me for not checking right let's crack on right where's my binding wire gone it disappeared can anyone see the binding wire we're not going to get anything done without binding wire it disappeared amongst all my things. I definitely got it out. Oh, all the glitches are happening today. It's completely gone. Did I drop it? No. So, we'll scrap that. We'll do it. I'm going to do it with it something else. I definitely... Oh, here it is. It's appeared. Right, so binding wire. So you're going to attach your binding wire to one side of the heart, okay? So all I decorate is the top half. If you wanted to decorate the whole heart, that is entirely up to you in my pocket. No, it was hidden in the foliage. That'll teach me, won't it? So, <laughs> thank you for helping. Oh, goodness, it's all going on. So you're gonna attach the binding wire to one side of the heart, so all you need to do to do that is to wrap it round twice and then you're going to twist the ends together to make sure that it's attached. There's no real art form to that. So before lockdown, my friends and I ran a craft group in our village. When we're back together, can we all have these to have a go? I'd be delighted to, yes, give them to you. That would be amazing. Thank you. Right, so... Once you've got your binding wire on, can you see, okay, what I'm doing now? Now, now we're working on the table. You're going to get your moss out and you need to split it into two. So that it's in a little um, waterproof bag. So you can use that for something else. So look at this. It smells so good. So if you just tease it apart with your fingers, roughly into two. So you need one piece for the one side of your heart and one for the other. And then you're going to split them, so you're kind of quartering it. So you can then tease it out. So if you just pull it ever so slightly, you're going to make it a little bit less dense um, and a little bit longer. So we're going to lay it on where your binding wire is. And then you're going to bind around. So you're looking at covering the top side of your heart and then the very side. So this side ever so slightly and the inside. So I'm going to lay that on. It's best to do it on a flat surface. There's lots of links in the post um, to buy the kit. Loads of links. And I think the original Virtual Village Hall post, you can purchase the kit. So it's from, you can go on bloomingcrafty.com. So I'm binding, just ever so roughly binding this moss on. So as I was saying earlier, the moss is to create something to attach your foliage and your flowers too. If you don't add the moss, and it's fine if you don't have that, um, it just wobbles sometimes backwards and forwards, your foliage does, and you have to bind it even more tightly. Um, so there's a tendency for things to kind of fall off. So I'm binding this, it's very rough because we're covering this up. So you guys can take a lot more time than me. So this is my second piece. I'm taking that in half. I'm teasing it out and then I'm popping it on the other side of my heart and I'm going to bind round and round and round. It smells so good. 
Does the kit come with instructions? Hoping to send one to my sister. No, it's just a Facebook video. And we have, we also have a private Facebook group um, for tuition. Um, so no, we're kind of, we're working on the instructions to go in the kit. So it might be something to come. Yes, it takes you to the Willow Heart kit. I hope the, I hope the website's behaving itself. Sometimes it has a headache. Right, so if I show you that, we've mossed just the top half of the reef. By no means is this perfect. You can kind of give it a squish to flatten it down a bit, or you can give it a haircut. So just go in with some scissors and give it a haircut. So this is the only bit of the heart that I like to decorate. So I think it's such a shame if you cover up any of the other willow. So we're now gonna go and start cutting up our foliage and our flowers. You need to cut them to about two to three inches, no longer. So everything can be cut down, so it's the same length. So I'm going to quickly do that. You saw me get all of this out of the box. So if you've got a piece like this that's quite long, you can cut it in half. So if you go next to the nearest leaf with your secateurs, then it doesn't, you can't see a hard stem then. You can still use that second piece. I hope the website's working. If anyone's watching, Stephanie, if you're watching, can you let me know? Sometimes when you go to the checkout, it misbehaves um, if they're updating the, the website link. It'll be just my look today, won't it? It's been chaos. So I'm cutting everything up and then you're going to divide your foliage into two piles. So this isn't so that you don't get carried away doing one side of your heart and then you haven't got any foliage to do the other side. So split your foliage and your flowers into two even piles. So I probably won't do that because I can vaguely guess which ones, which side is uh, equal. Right, so that's my all my parvifolia, my beautiful eucalyptus. Your house will be smelling delicious by this point. It'll smell like a forest. So your little wax flower, is all the foliage included in the kit? Yes, everything that we're doing here is included in the kit for eight pounds. So again, I'm cutting these down to the similar length, two to three inches. If you want it to be kind of bushier and more rustic, then longer pieces. So if you order today, the kits will be with you on Friday morning. They're usually delivered by lunchtime. We use Hermes next day delivery. It has to be before 12 o'clock next day. So if you want just the plain heart, it's three pounds for the kit. If you want a heart with all of the foliage and the things that you see here, it's eight pounds. Absolute bargain. And then you can come back on here and you can watch the tutorial and you can make it alongside me. We'll also be sharing it on our tutorial group, which is a private group, and you can come and ask questions. So if you're making a way and you get stuck for whatever reason, um, we'll be there to guide you. On the website, I can't find the link. So if you go into Blooming Crafty, you're going to the shop and there's a shop page, a shop link, and then you go into the gift section and it's, a picture of a box like this with a bit of foliage, no, with a wreath, a bit of willow bound up inside it. And it's called Heart Kit, I think, Valentine's Day Heart Kit. And then in the drop down option, you can choose just the heart on its own. I'm cutting a crisp video at the same length as well. So you can just choose the heart, which is a plain heart on its own, or the, the kit to decorate it with as well. Right, so we're now binding our foliage on and the best way to do this, it's, we've called it a forever reef, so everything will last in here and dry out. Um, so that's, yeah, the idea. Um, I've got one from last year. It obviously changes, so we've chosen a eucalyptus so it will dry. The crest video will pretty much stay the same. These, the little wax flowers, they will change ever so slightly, so they'll kind of um, shrivel and dry over time. But it'll be a forever reef, and you can update it as well, which is really nice. So we're going to use little bunches. So once you've cut your foliage and your flowers up, 
split it into two groups, okay? We're gonna do one side of the heart first. So the thing to remember is you're working from this side back into the middle, okay? And I haven't cut my binding wire off, so we're gonna keep continuing to use this. So we're gonna bunch very small little pieces of wax flower and eucalyptus, and the bunches are hanging upside down. So can you see that? They're hanging upside down and then we're placing them onto our heart and then you're gonna bind with the binding wire and we're working backwards as we go. Now it's up to you how far you distribute them apart. If you want them closer together, you'll get a bushier feel. If you spread them out, you'll be able to see the moss in between and it'll feel a little bit more rustic. So I'm gonna start binding and then you can ask me questions while I'm beavering away. Can you see? So I'm binding it round twice, each piece of um, foliage, and then I'm just pulling. So you only need to bind twice. I'm alternating between flowers and foliage. I, I probably do this quite sparsely, only it's my personal preference um, to see the moss behind as well. So the moss dries out a little bit and it'll change colour. Sorry, I just missed that question. Oh, I see the plain willow you found. Is the website behaving? Wreath, but not foliage in your demo. Really inspired to have a go. Yes, please share your mix. Just join. Can anyone give me a link to the group? So it's bloomingcrafty.com is the Facebook page. And you go on the shop. It's in the gift section. And you can purchase a willow heart kit. So I'm alternating, can you all see what I'm making okay? So I've got your comments coming up actually where my hands are. So I'm binding round, I'm holding the flowers on with one hand and the foliage and then I'm binding round over the top of it twice. So we're not covering all the moss in my one. It smells so good, I wish you could all smell it. So I really hope that you're inspired to get crafting. It's um, definitely what I go and do if I need a bit of time out. Thank you so much for sharing the link and helping me out with the virtual really tool. Really appreciate it. Any questions? Can you see? Can you see me working away? So as I'm working to the centre, um, I'm turning the flowers so that they're sitting in the right angle. I hope you can see that. And then when I get to the middle, I'm going to put one more piece there. And then you have to bind just your wire. There's no, there's no need to cut it off. There's plenty of wire here. You don't need to cut it off and reattach it. So I just bind all the way over to the other side. Yes, you get everything with the kit that you need to make the kit, except secateurs or scissors. Scissors will probably do. So I've bound my wire over to the other side. Can you see that? Look how pretty it is. So you can see the moss poking through. You can, um, the other nice thing kids love, you could sprinkle some glitter on here. It really brings it to life. The um, moss catches the glitter. Thank you. So let's carry on. We'll do the other side where you're asking questions. <clears throat> it's really hard to multitask, to ask questions, to teach, and to uh, do as well. <clears throat> I need a drink as well. Any more questions? So it's three pounds, just to confirm. The website is bloomingcrafty.com. If you're struggling to find the kit, then you can just send me an email. You can find us on Blooming Crafty on Facebook and we'll be able to guide you on there. That's probably going to be my afternoon. Pay postage will be calculated at checkout. It's £5 postage on everything on the website. So including our British flower boxes um, as well, everything is £5. So I'm alternating between what I'm binding on. 
You can even just do individual pieces to get a nice distribution of everything. So uh, you'll get added to our Blooming Crafty tutorial group as well, which is a completely private group. So you get all the tutorials on there for every kit and lots of ideas for crafting <clears throat> and you can privately talk amongst yourselves as well and share your creations um i don't see why not i need to check overseas postage um i think the only thing with um overseas is that if it's perishable they won't insure it um, but we could definitely do um we could put together some flowers that we know if they're going to be in transit for longer and um, that would definitely be okay I think these will be fine to be honest if you want to do a test then I'd happily send you one and we can see what what happens that looks so good well done I look forward to having a go yes go foraging if you don't want to buy a kit can I only find a plain willow heart? So if you go into the plain willow heart, there's a drop down. So there's another um, little drop down arrow and you can choose whether you want a plain heart or a heart that's decorated. What else have we got on today? Different activities on every day on the virtual tool. There's Pilates this afternoon. So if anyone fancies getting moving, then uh, have a look at Pilates. There's been some fantastic crafty workshops um, on here that you could combine with the wreath as well. So we talked briefly about the needle felting one that we watched. There's all sorts. So you could definitely use something that you made previously and you could attach it to your heart. Right, so I've done exactly the same on the other side. I've bound all the way to the center and then you can just see I've got this gap in the middle. So I'm gonna use some last little bits of foliage just to lay in there, I've lost bits on the floor, it's quite a mess, can you click on the drop down and toggle kit, yes you can, you can, thank you, yeah, click on the drop down arrow on the website and you can choose the kit that you want, so whether you want a plain one or a decorated one with all the bits in, right, so I'm binding around the centre again, of my heart so this is the finished thing so this is what we call our forever wreaths if you're not a crafty person then um, on our website we've also got um, a, a seasonal selection of wreaths so that you can purchase we've got forever wreaths on there so thank you for your purchase I'm overwhelmed by the viewing it's amazing thank you so there we go Right, so we're going to chop the wire off and a little bit like we did before and um, with the willow, you're just going to tuck the end in somewhere a couple of times, a little bit like a tacking stitch. So you're wrapping it round two or three times just to make sure that it's all in place. Hello Sue, Sue Brian's my auntie. Thank you for watching, lovely. This is so amazing. Oh, there we go, look. So... One finished heart. You also get, if I can find it, it's gone a little bit chaotic in here. I had a bit of ribbon, here it is. So we've got, we add in this ribbon, and um, basically because we think that this will go with any home, this is why we've chosen it. Um, you can wrap it around the middle if you wanted, which I'm going to do and tie it in a pretty bow. Really interesting, it's given me inspiration to have a go exactly what we wanted to hear I'm so pleased enjoy having a go and please 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 share I don't know if the virtual village hall is um happy for people to share you can probably share on this the uh, comments it is super easy and again I'm very happy to answer questions so if you want to inbox me privately um, I'm around today so that you can. So I've just popped that little bow in the middle. It kind of goes with everything. You can use your ribbon to hang it up with if you wanted, or if you've got some excess twine, you can attach it to either side um, and to pop it onto your um, door. It looks amazing. Thank you for showing us. 
thank you. I'm in the process of placing an order, can't wait to get started. Can't wait to give it a go. Just back tidying the garden. I know, it's, it's, hopefully we need a few more dry days and then you can get outside, can't you? So yes, I really appreciate all your comments. Get out in your garden, go for a walk, start looking at things differently. You'll be looking at lichen on trees, you'll be looking at little buds coming out and thinking that you can use them. Um, picking up dried seed heads, just have a good look around. Um, if that's all that it brings your senses alive a little bit more, then um, I really hope that you are all managing through lockdown. And uh, we wish you a very early um, and send you lots of love for Valentine's. So thank you ever so much. I'm going to round it off here. Thank you for the opportunity from the Virtual Village Hall. Um, they've done a fantastic job at collating lots of different clients. My email is blooming, um, inquiries at bloominggraftie.com. The website is bloominggraftie.com. You can order on there. Facebook is Blooming Crafty as well. So have a look at this. This is us, if I can get that off. There we are, Blooming Crafty. So we've shared lots, lots of shares of the website. So, thank you. We usually do, this is the first time I've done it in my house and my little girl is being really well behaved. But we usually do it in, we've got a shop out the front and we usually do our lives in the shop but the um, signal can be a bit naughty if we're outside. Um, so yes, we've come in here, but the shop looks so beautiful. It's got really lovely lighting and twinkly lights. Um, so we do, yeah, a lot of lives um, outside. We do lots of kits as well. So we kind of launch kits every now and again, just to give people something to do in lockdown um, or something for if you've got kids and you're not really sure how to do art projects. Um, so, and it's again, we try and keep it as affordable as possible. Um, the British flowers are a nice one, again, if you wanted to kind of um, teach kids a little bit more about using local grown produce as well. Um, so everything comes with a video. Right, so we'll round it off there. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Um, and don't forget, we've got Pilates at 2.30. Bye-bye.